Welcome to Chris's Storytelling Corner. This is Christopher Moldong. Today I will read pages 1 to 3 of my short story, The Underachievers. Here is the synopsis. Two friends, Vincent Lee and Ross Whitehead, try to navigate through high school and college. While Vincent is studious and ambitious, Ross has a difficult time staying in school. Find out what happens in their tumultuous friendship. Next time, I will read pages 4 to 6 of the story. You can check out my author's website at www.chrismoldon.com. You can buy my first novel, a fantasy adventure called The Monster Prince in the Condiment Kingdom for $4.99. Also for $2.99, you can buy my short story collection, a collection of 10 short stories in the horror, fantasy, and realistic fiction genres. This story is in that collection. Follow me on Twitter and retweet my stuff, and check out my author's Facebook page. Links to all these will be provided on the description. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube, or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. So a little bit about under the underachievers. Um, first of all, Ross Whitehead is actually based upon someone I know, and uh, Vincent Lee is based a little bit on me, but a lot on this other guy that I know. Uh, the idea of underachievers really is just the thing where someone kind of does enough uh, to get by, but doesn't do enough to get ahead. And really, it, it shows in this story of uh, just these two guys... Vincent, at, at first, actually, is something of an overachiever, um, but after, like, college and whatnot, he, he actually starts to, things start to crack, I guess, for him, and he's kind of an underachiever, or starts to be one, he, and Ross, just throughout the whole story, is pretty much just an underachiever, um, throughout. So, this story is a bit therapeutic. Um, some of these, some of the things that are said are actually, like, line for line, or at least paraphrasing, um, some of the stuff that, uh, I've heard from these people that I know that the story's based on and whatnot. So, um, let's just get right to it. Let's go, uh, let's read The Underachievers. Living under strict Chinese immigrant parents, Vincent Lee's eyes do not leave his textbooks until he falls asleep. His parents went to the U.S. for better opportunities and currently own and operate a successful dry cleaners and a Chinese restaurant. Due to their hard work, they live comfortably in a two-story house in the suburbs. Throughout Vincent's schooling, his parents enforced him to get straight A's to the point that they threatened to expel him from their house if he receives anything less than that. He has always been at the top of his class, and his mother loves bragging to other Chinese mothers at church about his grades. Vincent slaves away working odd jobs at his parents' restaurant for free when he is not at school or studying. One day, his parents hire Ross Whitehead to be a server and they pay him under the table. Ross waits to be told what to do and would stand in place during slow hours. Whenever he could, he would take food home and stuff his already nearly obese belly. On Ross's first day, he and Vincent take a 15 minute break after showing him the ins and outs of the job. They discover that they go to the same high school and talk about movies based on comic books or teachers that they dislike. Not being someone who competes with him for better grades, Ra Vincent and Ross quickly become friends. When they hang out for the first time, Ross introduces him to anime and other geek-related things like conventions, cosplaying, and anime clubs. Attending both Anime Expo and the San Diego Comic Con every year in July is a must for Ross, and he has not missed one since he started to go to them. 
He gets up every morning just for those two conventions, and the year for him starts in July. Ross quits the restaurant just a month after getting hired, but he remains friends of Vincent. They hang out when Vincent isn't studying, yet his parents frown upon him hang, uh, hanging out with Ross. One day, they hang out like they normally do, watching anime and relaxing. However, they unexpec unexpectedly have their first disagreement when Vincent asks Ross the innocuous question, What college are you planning to go to? What do you think? I'm going to community college. I don't, like, get good grades like you do. He responds, seemingly annoyed by the question. Are you thinking of going to a four-year college and getting a bachelor's? I don't know, man. It's like, there are people out there who make millions and didn't even pass college. I'm just going because my parents want me to. You should think about it. Evan says I'll get you a better job. Dude, you sound like my mom or something. Like, seriously, who cares? It's just a piece of paper. Okay, okay, jeez, I was just asking. You know, you can go to law school, pass, and become like Lionel Hutz from The Simpsons. There's no guarantee that you'll get a good job just because you got a degree. No one's saying that. Well, I'm just saying that just because you're trying to get the big degrees or whatever, that doesn't mean I have to get one too, Ross says while talking over Vincent. Vincent tries to say something, but Ross raises a vo his voice and cuts him off. It's whatever, dude. We're over it. Let's just keep watching this or something. The days pass, and they eventually graduate from high school. In their grad night party, Ross talks with some geeks while Vincent sex, uh, sits next to a punch bowl, staring at a girl. Ross ap approaches Vincent and tells him, You're not going to get her by just standing there, here. I know, I know, I'm just waiting to make my move, Vincent responds. Dude, I know you. You're just going to sit here and stare at her like she's some sort of unicorn or something. You gotta grow a pair and make a move. It's like you can't get out of your mom's womb. Like you're one to talk. I don't see a line of girls behind you, and the closest you get to girls is the distance from you and the, co and the computer screen. Ross raises his voice and rants, What, dude? The hell was that about? I'm just trying to help you. You talk about chicks all the time and don't do anything about it. I'm like sitting here tired of seeing you look like a doper on girls, you know. I can't, I can do something else, you know, but you're so pathetic looking that I have to help you. Ross walks away, clearly tense, while Vincent looks at him dumbfounded while nodding his head in disagreement. They continue to be separate during the party, with Ross joking around with some geek friends and Vincent talking with some of his Asian peers. After a week, the two sweep their argument under the rug and hang out. Vincent, knowing how agitated that Ross gets at the smallest slight, tends only to talk about their common hobbies. Nothing deeper than that makes their way between them, and he avoids talking about anything related to the real world. Once their first semester begins, Vincent goes to a top university close to home while Ross attends the local community college. It brings pride and relief to Ross's parents that he attends college. He has not declared a major, nor has he any aspirations to be anything more than the pizza del delivery driver that he just recently got hired for. It only took less than a year for Ross to drop out of college, but he never told his parents. Instead of going to class, he loiters about with his laptop at a coffee shop or library to go online and check out blogs, podcasts, or YouTube videos. Well, that's all for today. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube, or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. Thank you for listening to these readings. Next time, I'll read pages 4 to 6 of the story. Thank you, and until next time.